Good afternoon, Guardians, especially my fellow Titans. How are you doing today? Today, <coughs> oh my lord, that is not the way to start a video. But today, what we are doing, we're having a bit more fun today. We're not doing no end game builds. We're not specking into anything. We're not testing out any exotics. Today, we are clearing ads. And this, this will be the ultimate ad clearer. Gather around, children. Gather around for the demonstration. And that's everybody. Oh yeah. And that's how you clear ads. That's how we're clearing ads today. So as I look for the f**ks Bungie gave to Titans, I need the build. I need the build that will clear ads essentially instantly. And this is what I have done today, guys. We are using the Severance Enclosure. With its intrinsic perk, Thermatic Trigger. Powered melee final blows unleash a damaging explosion. Finishes and final blows against more powerful targets will increase the radius and damage of the explosion. I'm gonna go straight into some aspects and fragments. Using Rally Barricade, Throwing Hammer, and a Fusion Grenade. Our aspects, using the Consecration. Yeah, sliding while you activate your melee ability will launch a wave of solar energy forward, damaging and scorching targets in front of you as they leap into the air. While airborne, activate your charge melee again to slam to the ground and create a second trigger wave of damaging solar energy. If the wave hits a scorched target, they ignite. Alongside roaring flames, final blows with solar abilities or ignitions increase damage for your solar abilities stacks three times. While roaring flame is active, your uncharged melee attack deals solar damage and scorches targets for our fragments we're using ember of ashes apply more scorch stacks to targets ember of char solar ignition spread scorch to affected targets ember of torches powered melee attacks against combatants make you and your nearby allies radiant and last but not least ember of searing defeating scorched targets grants melee energy all right let's get into some mods shall we i decided to use inferno whip because why shouldn't your hammer be able to stop unstoppable champions we're using rocket launcher ammo finder but this one is totally up to you really and truly and we are using a well of life picking up a solar elemental well grants increased regeneration for a short period of time so these two middle ones are situational so as they're totally up to you but we are using a melee well maker powered melee combatant final blows on elemental wells matching your subclass energy type i'm using a heavy handed while charged with light regain half of your melee energy when you use your charge melee ability consuming one stack of charge with light that is alongside another heavy handed on the boots and last but not least we have thundering glare rapid precision hits against distant combatants weaken them for a short duration bomber reduces your grenade cooldown when using your class ability and an elemental charge now there is variations to this build that you can have it all depends on what you want to spec into if you want to keep it a nice and even all-round balanced class i'll say go for this but if you want to spec into let's say your rocket launcher i would get rid of rocket launcher ammo finder and go with an argent ordinance while charged with light readying or firing a rocket launcher grants increased damage and reload speed damaging combatants with a rocket launcher consumes one stack of charge with light that bit's crucial damaging a combatant with your rocket launcher consumes one stack of charge with light so you can pull it out as long as you don't fire you're good and what we would do take away one of these heavy handed put an elemental charge here add a rocket launch a scavenger and change this one here to a well of life not only can you send your hammer into the distance you can also get a nice solid rocket launcher boost weapon choices when it comes to weapons you have to think short range long range and area of effect that is key to clearing ads so i have my wastelander m5 with trench barrel or a one-two punch depending on whatever direction you want to spec into but i prefer a trench barrel because i like a good nice all round strength boost so after a successful melee hit your weapon gains increased damage and since we're going to be throwing hammers left right and center why not have a nice solid damage boost to your shotgun alongside an amit ar2 with incandescent sorry an enhanced incandescent defeating a target spreads a longer lasting scorch to those nearby more powerful combatants and opposing guardians cause scorch in a larger radiance which specs into our ember of char and last but not least the beloved gellhorn but if those weapons aren't tickling your fancy you need a bit more variation there's always ads with different shields and all these sorts of things so if you're doing end game content i would suggest putting on a royal entry with cluster bombs alongside a trinity ghoul you cannot go wrong now we have a trinity ghoul which is the ad clear of the season a rocket launcher with cluster bombs a shotgun that gets more powerful when we use our hammers and when we get a kill with our hammers it sends every single ad into space it sends them into oblivion it disintegrates them it turns them into dust and then on top of that when it comes to boss damage as long as we ain't thrown our hammers too often we'll have a nice solid damage boost for our rocket launcher here Guys, give this a go. 
you've seen the variations you've seen the weapon choices comment down below for any other variations you can imagine and until next time guys peace peace